They are going back. Your college kids are headed to school the next week or so out of their bedrooms and right into their dorm rooms. And they're bringing more than just clothes with them. Laptops, fridges, microwaves, electronics, you name it. These kids want to bring everything on campus. Our home improvement expert, Danny Lipford's daughter, Chelsea, is heading back to school, too, along with her roommate, Katie Casera. So let's get some tips on how to make their dorm room a super space. Danny, good to see hey, you as good, always. Good to see you. Now, before we actually, I haven't been in a dorm room in so long. Before we actually get to the whole dorm room process here, You've got a couple of tips before you even get on campus. Some of the kids and parents should actually take right. these measures to well, make sure. You're well, first of all, um, encourage them to take as little as they possibly yeah, can. That luck. helps the process a lot, <laughs> especially with yeah. girls. And then the boxes that you use to pack things up, make sure that you can use those in the dorm room for storage. That helps a lot in having to have duplicate efforts in the whole thing. So yeah. that makes a big difference. Also, there. call the school. Make sure you know what you can and can't bring. Right. How oh, yeah. big the bed is for sheets and, and how big the something. refrigerator is. They'll stop you right at the door sometimes and say, "In the refrigerator." is just too big so right. so but anyway um, the, the girls have been in school for a couple years learned some pretty good tips and this Chelsea is your daughter Chelsea yeah, this right my, here this is my daughter Chelsea her Katie. and uh, her roommate Katie and uh, they found some very valuable space that's not in the closet yeah best space I've found is under the bed especially when you get these storage uh, boxes that are um, very stackable they fit underneath the bed and then you can put clothes maybe stuff that you don't need quite as often underneath the bed and also the uh, this nightstand that clips onto the bed frame yeah. and it's great for a book remote something that in um, the typical bedroom doesn't come the typical dorm room doesn't come with a nightstand so it's yeah. very convenient and well let's be honest here we're talking about 200 square feet when you're looking at most dorm rooms Danny we're looking at 200 you know right I know I mean, that is not a lot of space not, not, a, not, a, not a lot of space at all and to create this little space under here yep. it's as simple as taking a piece of PVC pipe okay. and a two by four to use to prop it up and then we're able to get just as much space as you want of course the higher you go you can be a little unstable so yeah. Uh, that works out great. What do you guys do? You do bunk beds in your in your dorm room? Oh, or no, do you we have, have uh, two separate two beds. Two separate beds, so you Four got beds. a little bit more space in this at St. John's, right? <laughs> what other items can people well, bring? Well, this is great here, a roll-away hamper like this. This is yep. uh, called Caddy Concepts, and it's a multi-purpose use. You can carry it down to the laundry room, or you can pop this out and wheel it right down. You got some storage there. So anything you have like this, it's collapsible. It makes a big difference. And of course, you also want to kind of personalize your, your room, as Katie's doing here. She has this great idea of using a ribbon, and you put some glue on the edge and this is a glue spots that yep. later after you're moving out you pull it off and it won't pull the paint off which can cost the parents a little yeah. money in deposits. I got to imagine your dorm room was probably pretty good with a dad like this. Huh? <laughs> 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 I just wanted to be sure. <laughs> and some of the things that you use they have all these things these are all from 3M that they've actually designed for this very purpose for dorm rooms or apartments so yeah. that you can hang just about anything posters or pictures or anything without disturbing the wall yeah, later on. You don't on. want to lose that secure that deposit. I mean you do have to, you pay a penalty at the end oh, of the semester yeah. with when your your walls are all marked up and then the, the place is a mess. Exactly. Some of the other things, obviously closet space. Right, closet essential. space. And you want to maximize it as much as you can. Things like this and different things that you can hang in there that are accessories to maximize that space. Very, very important. And these you can buy just about anywhere. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, um, yeah. these are just everywhere, particularly this time of the year. I'll tell you, you walk in one of the, the big stores right now and there's people wall to wall yeah. doing the exact same thing you are. Everybody, I'm sure they want to bring the microwave. They want to bring the TVs. They they want to bring the refrigerators. Of right. course, talk to your roommate first and, right. and try to divvy up so you're not doubling yeah, up so, on everything. Yeah, because a lot of times one roommate will buy the microwave, the other will buy the refrigerator. And then there's so many other things now, the laptops and even little accessories like this that you can have your docking stations for your iPod or your phone. And then other things like this that can hang on the wall, again, with the type of adhesive that won't disturb the wall once you move out at the end of the semester. And you recommend that students should have some tools handy just in case because they have to do uh, it some is. home I mean, improvements you, you, on their own, of course. Right, you know, you have to have just a few basic tools and everything. And of course, when the guys start knocking on the dorm room, this can come in real handy to, yeah. to you know, back them away <laughs> a little bit. You know? yeah, yeah. Or so. when dad keeps coming uh, unannounced to, to yeah, campus yeah. to the try to help parents out. Parents can be a bit of a problem sometimes with hanging around as well. So, so if you had to, if people at home are watching right now and they say, okay, what is, like, give me two key tips. I'm moving into a small space. What are the, what are the, the, like, the real essentials uh, of making sure that you maximize every bit of space you have? Well, you certainly want to uh, use containers like Chelsea showed us where yep. they could stack very easily. And you want to um, look at things that are vertical, vertical shelving that you can use to uh, be able to utilize the vertical space more so than the floor space, which is very scarce. Love the raising the bed idea. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Chelsea, Katie. Have a great semester. Get good grades so Dad's not mad at you. And you'll get an even better room next year. <laughs> For more do-it-yourself dorm room tips from Danny, log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.